Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is who is our future spouse? So we'll take a look at um, maybe some personality, who they are, maybe the circumstances around how you meet them, things like that. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? Here we go. All right, pile one, I am drawn to the purples today. So we have, it's all amethyst. Pile one, I'm calling this the flat stone because it's kind of like a palm stone. It's a small palm stone, but there we go. We're calling this flat. Pile two is round. Pile three kind of looks like a tooth, right? It's like a raw shard, so that's what I'm calling it. And pile four is... Uh, the chevron. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and uh, you know, I'll get started with pile one. Pause if you have to, it's okay. Okay, pile ones, if you chose the flat stone, um, then this one's your reading. King of Cups, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the lovers and six of wands <laughs> okay um well i love king of cups energy that's very loving very um supportive energy very generous energy this is somebody who loves deeply um somebody who cares about their family you know so this is somebody who might have a uh, who might stay a little quiet who might have you know they might be a man of few words. You know, gender doesn't matter, but you know what I'm saying, right? Um, they speak up when they have to, though, because they are a king. They are the leader. They want to be obeyed. <laughs> well, they want to be in charge, you know? So, um, yeah, I think uh, I like your, you like your person. They're sweet. Um, but I feel like they're coming in at a time when A, you might have an option. You might have a choice. So you might have the choice between two. Or they're coming in at a time where you're very independent. You're just, maybe you're set in your ways and you're, you know, you've gotten used to taking care of yourself and not depending on anybody else and just doing things your way. Um, you know, so it might cause a little bit of pointless conflict with that five of wands, a point of contention here. Um, you know, you trying to decide whether, you know, you, you, uh, want to deal with somebody else in your life <laughs> or, or picking one over the other. All right. So th there's two options there. I feel them both. So again, that's, uh, depending on your situation. Um, yeah, but your future spouse is going to be somebody that you end up having a very deep spiritual bond with. So this is going to be true love, right? It is going to be true love. Um, it will be felt on both parts. You know, your hearts will be each other's. So it, it, it's a beautiful love. It really is. Um, but, you know, it, it, it comes in after the battle. So, you know, and it doesn't have to be a big, long, drawn out battle. It just, it's a battle. Like it's a battle within you. I feel like it's your decision and you're probably going to be, you know, in your head a little bit thinking about what you should do. But, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to marry this person. That's for sure. So I like this person. This person seems to be very loving, very, um, at warm to, towards you. I don't know how else to say that. I, I, the feeling that they're giving me. I just feel like they're warm. Warm towards you. All right. Let's get some tea leaves. Let's see what else we got here. Obstacles to overcome. And hidden secrets that can harm you. 
Okay. All right. Well, here, here we go. So maybe that's the point of the pointless conflict, right? That they have a secret. So they have either something that they can't share with you, right? And you don't like not knowing. Believe me, you're the queen of pentacles. This is somebody who's knowledgeable. This is somebody who knows, knows their stuff, knows how to take care of themselves. So you don't like the fact that there's a secret. So I think the secrets, like, you know that there's a secret, but they're not, they can't share that secret with you, maybe. Or maybe they're going to take a long time before they're able to share that secret with you. So maybe that's the obstacle there, right? You have to f figure out if you can live with your person having a secret. Or, you know, figuring out what the secret is. <laughs> if you're anything like me, you're going to be bound and determined. You're going to figure out. You're not going to stop until you know what that secret is. You're going to want to respect the privacy, but you're going to, you're going to, you're going to figure it out. You just can't help yourself. <laughs> you're the queen of pentacles. That's what she does. Like she knows how to take care of herself. She's, she's my, you know, independent, you know, single mother type of getting it done. So I think you're, you know, you'll have a hard time with the secret if they have one. You know, and it could just be that they have a past, you know, who doesn't? Um, but maybe that past isn't something that they, they want everybody to know about, right? Um, I don't know. I, I, it's going to work out. It's definitely going to work out. This is your future spouse. So you're going to love them despite the secret. Um, but I think I, I really do have a feeling that the secret's going to come to light and you're going to be like, all right, it's not as bad as I thought it was. You should have shared this a long time ago because in my head, I made it out to be way worse than it actually is. Um, so, yeah. All right. Let's get some more cards. Door to spirit. So for me, that's just saying that, you know, you uh, might be trying to connect when you meet this person. You know, are they right for me? You might, you know, go to readings or whatever, trying to figure out this person's the right one for you. Uh, spirit's going to find a way to communicate with you, whether it's you watching a reading or you getting signs from the universe or both. Um, Spirit's going to communicate with you and let you know that, yes, this is your person and yes, it's okay to be with them at this time. You know, there's a reason why you guys are coming together. So everything's going to work out. So I think they're going to bring you some relief, your angels and guides. You know, I feel like they're going to give you a little bit of like, okay, I don't trust myself, but I trust you. <laughs> you know, I trust what you're giving me. So I think you're going to have a little bit of faith here coming in for you. Refine your attention. All right. <laughs> so. Uh, um, uh, all right. So I, I feel like with this card, like your head's going to be spinning. Your head's going to be going in all different directions. And I think they want you to just slow it down. Focus your attention. What What is it that you truly want? What's going to make you happy? Like what 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 will make your heart sing? You know, refine your attention, figure that if this person makes you happy, then, then you got to find a way to be with them and maybe accept that secret or whatever it is. Um, you're going to overcome this obstacle. You are. So I think you just need to, to direct your focus a little bit and stop, stop letting it go crazy. Stop the chaos, you know, um, believe me, I understand how easily that can happen. So Healing heart. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. I, this is your person. Your person's a healer. You could be a healer too, but your person's a healer for sure. They are so loving. They're the king of cups energy. They are so loving and they are so generous. 
that they are, they're going to give you that confidence that you need to carry on in this relationship. They're going to be like, babe, I'm with you. You know, I'm here for you. I will, I will love you forever and I will take care of you and nothing's going to happen and nothing's bad. And just trust me, you know, they're going to have that healing heart. They're going to be very forgiving of you. They're going to be very tolerant of you. That's not to say that they're not going to get mad at you from time to time, because I'm sure that they will. <laughs> but you know what I mean? There's, they're, they're going to love you very deeply. So they have a very healing heart. Love that. That's the King of Cups for you. That's, that's amazing energy. Um, okay, let's get uh, Animal Spirit here. Dolphin play. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom and go with the flow. There you go. This is what your person's going to do for you. They're going to they're going to allow you to breathe. They're going to they're going to inspire trust in you and they're going to have fun with you and they're going to you know, they're going to distract you. <laughs> they're going to be really really good at distracting you, you know? And and at times you'll see it sometimes you won't, but at times you you'll see it and you'll be like, "I know what you're doing." You're trying to get me off this question or, <laughs> you know, you're trying to get me to change my mind on something. But that's okay because I see what you're doing and I'm going to allow it because <laughs> I think you're very smart. But they're going to have fun. They're going to be charming and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to be good for you. They really are. They're going to be good for you. You're very close to achieving your goal. So what does that mean? That means this could be happening soon. That means you could be finding your person soon or your person could already be here. Right? This is excellent. I like this. We don't have to wait. <laughs> religious factors. All right. So there's a difference between the two of you could be religious factors but it could also be age it could be race it could be um any kind of difference here um yeah so there's some kind of a noticeable difference they could be older than you or maybe even younger than you you know it's okay it's not a big deal let's uh Let's get a love advice card for you. And embrace. Through each other you find the missing piece. I knew it. I knew this was your person. It just feels good, you know? All right, let's get a, a good tarot advice card for you. Nine of Michaels, which is nine of swords, right? Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So, you know, there's things you don't have to worry about. So even, even if there is a secret, that secret, it, it's not going to affect your, your relationship. It's not unless you allow that, unless you allow the fear to take over. So it's saying that you're, your worry is unnecessary. So just keep that in mind, okay? Let's get you some charms. Just being you. Your person loves you just for who you are. That's amazing. They like who you are, you know? You're going to have so many reasons to be happy and to smile. This person's going to put a smile on your face. They're really going to love you. And they're going to support you um, in so many different ways. Um, they're going to be there for you, right? And when you get in your head, as long as you um, communicate with them, they'll do their best to reassure you. I think they're going to be very supportive that way. I, I think you're going to realize that this is your person and the secrets don't matter where you can overcome those secrets once you find them out or you're going to find out that 
you know, the, the feeling, the love, that's what matters. That's all that matters. And the love is there. The love is going to be there. So you are definitely going in the right direction with this person, okay? So just keep that in mind. You have help from the angels that says angelic. So, um, yeah. And you know what? I think you're going to have support from other people too. You have the megaphone, the cheerleading megaphone. So somebody's going to be cheering for you. Somebody's going to be rooting for this relationship um, to work out. So you're going to have a cheering section, it feels like. You know what I mean? Everybody's going to want this for you. I feel like your person's very good looking. Uh, you got the you got the Christmas ornament, and for me, the ornament is always like uh, it represents arm candy to me, like um, eye candy, like um, somebody who's very good looking, somebody you're proud to take to show off, you know, to take places. Somebody you're like, yeah, and this this is my person. Look at them. Look how sexy they are. <laughs> you know, so they're very good looking. I feel like. So anyway, at least you think they are. <laughs> I do think something beautiful is going to grow and bloom from this. So yeah, have fun, Pile One. Have fun. Trust this. And uh, I, I think you're going to have a great, great, great relationship here with your person. All right, that's what I got. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those help me, and I appreciate you for that. Until next time, love and light. Okay, pile two, if you chose the round amethyst, and this one's going to be your reading, let's get your cards. The world. The emperor. Knight of cups. Nine of cups. And eight of pentacles. Okay, so, hmm, all right, well, pile two, there's a, there's a cycle coming to an end here for you, and I feel like this new cycle is, uh, but gonna bring you what you want, so this new cycle that you, um, are starting is bringing in your person if they're already not here yet your person is the emperor they are definitely alpha that doesn't mean that they don't have a soft side to them but they are definitely alpha <laughs> they're going to do what they want so i'm feeling like all right bear with with me on this one this is uh this is the little movie they gave me in my head so say uh, your person is going to go out with their buddies. Say, let, let's just say they're male and they're going out with their guy friend. It doesn't matter what gender they are. Um, they're going out with their friends and they stay out all night. And you're going to get upset over that because you don't know where they were, what they were doing. But then they come back and they're like, look, I was out with my friends. I don't go out with my friends all the time. I do it maybe once or twice a year. And I'm going to continue to do it. And if I want to stay out all night, I'm going to stay out all night. I'm not doing anything that will hurt you. I'm not, uh, you know, flirting with other people. I'm not doing drugs. I'm not doing anything I can get into trouble with. I'm going out drinking with my buddies. And I'm having a good time. And it's a time for me to, you know, go out and have fun. To release some steam. I know you don't like it. But I'm not going to stop doing it. They have that kind of stubbornness to them. And it's not like they don't understand how you feel. They understand how you feel. But you're not going to tell them what they can and can't do. No, they're not going to. I don't feel like they're the type of person that's going to take advantage of that. Because um, I think that they're not going to want to upset you all the time. But if they want to do something, they're going to do it. They're the emperor. So just keep that in mind, but this is your person. And you know what? I don't, I don't hate this because I actually am attracted to confidence. And so I don't hate this, but this is something that you're going to have to accept. And that might be hard, especially with somebody who's younger. If you guys are in your like early 20s, this is energy that, that 
that can make or break a relationship, right? Now, this is your future spouse, so you're going to marry this person. So it's not going to break your relationship. But this is something that sometimes younger energies can't handle. All right? So until you guys, you know, grow up a little bit and mature a little bit. Um, and believe me, I, I didn't mature until I hit like 45. <laughs> so, um, you know, I understand how this energy is going to affect you. And that's why I'm, I'm telling you this so that maybe you, that you could use this as some advice. So if a situation like that comes up, you'll be able to handle it better. All right. Because you're going to be like, Christina warned me and now I'm prepared. And I really don't think that they would do anything bad to hurt you in, at all. I just think that they are who they are and they're going to not going to allow anybody to tell them what to do. Simple as that. But they are your knight of cups, okay? So they are going to be romantic towards you. So it like they're the type of person that, okay, if they upset you by going out and staying out all night, they're going to do something nice for you um, on the flip side, right? They might take you out to a nice dinner the next night or something like that, or they'll do something nice for you. But, you know, like I said, I know like if I was in my, you know, if I was in my 20s, I would be like, that That doesn't make up for it. You know what I mean? I, know, I just know how I would be. So I don't want to project here. I just, I just want to give you the example so you guys know what you're dealing with here. So they are going to be romantic. They will make up for it. And, you know, they're, they are going to be sweet. Nine of Cups, you know, they are your wish come true. They are who you want to be with. So you might have to just work really hard <laughs> to deal with their emperor energy because you got the eight of pentacles here, right? And that's the, that's the hard work card. That's the, you know, the, you know, you put a lot of effort into something here. So it's going to take, I think, especially if you're a young female, this might take some getting used to, and it might take some hard work to control you know, your anxiety over this, but I really don't think that you have anything to worry about. Okay. So <laughs> just the emperors are tough. They are tough. They're sexy. <laughs> Believe me, they're very attractive and they're sexy to be with, but they're, they're tough. They're tough energy because they, they're going to do what they want to do. So they'll take your, your feelings into consideration. And you know, there are times where they might change their mind. You might be able to change their mind, but if they're dead set on doing something, there's nothing you could do or say there's not so save yourself the aggravation <laughs> that's the, I think that's the whole point I wanted to, to get to you is just you know <laughs> save yourself from that worry distract yourself go out with your friends that night you know so anyway <laughs> here we go keep keep going now that that was like forever Barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. All right. And a distant friend is thinking of you. All right. So um, what am I getting from them cards? I, I feel like when you meet this person, that's when you have felt like that something has been lacking. Like you've, um, this. I feel like this person's going to fill that void for you. So I think you're going to take the good with the, uh, the bad with the good here, even though the bad's not that bad. I feel like you're going to take it because they fill a void for you. I think that these, this person's meant for you. Now, dog far away, I'm getting like, um, either your, your person has a lot of friends that might be spread out all over the place. Like they might have like friends with like different groups, um, like different, like when you're in high school, you know how there's like, there's different cliques. There's the jocks, there's the, you know, the, the heads, the dead heads or whatever. I don't know. And the, you know, the nerds and there's all these different groups. And I think this person has friends in all of them. Does that make sense? Um, not that I feel like you guys are in high school cause I don't, but I'm just trying to get you that to understand what I'm feeling from that card is like your person has friends, um, that are like randomly spread out weird right so anyway like I feel like they know people they know like they know different types of people 
I hope that made sense. <laughs> I am rambling on this on this one. Rest and rejuvenation. Okay, that's you. That's for you. Um, no, I I feel like um, you're gonna need you're gonna need to um, control your energy sometimes. Do you hear a ghost? A ghost in the background. He's very upset. <laughs> He's very upset that somebody left the house without him and he wanted to, to go. He made it very clear that he wanted to leave the house with, with my son. And my son was like, no, you're not coming this time. So he's very upset and he just keeps coming in my room to try and get me to... <laughs> you hear him crying? He's, he's, he's just mad. He's pouting. Because he didn't get to go for a R-I-D-E or a W-A-L-K or something. Um, all right, sorry. So many distractions in this reading, right? Too much. I'm, I'm going too too far. But anyway, that's a card of just breathe. So when you're... When you're... <laughs> Ghost, settle down. Um, you know, when, you're, when your anxiety gets the best of you, just breathe. Calm yourself. You're going to let your, your anxiety take you to places it really doesn't need to go. Okay, so just remember to do that. <laughs> I don't think your person's going to do this to you all that often. I really don't. But, um, you know, for some reason I'm feeling you stressed sometimes. Just breathe. Just meditate. You'll be all right. Do all things in moderation. So your, your person, um, your person does things in excess. That's why you're stressed. All right. So like I said, when your person goes out, they go out all night. They don't just go out for a couple hours. They go out all night. If your person drinks, they drink until they, they're drunk. Like they, they do things in excess. I don't think they do it often. But when they do something, they're that emperor. They're going to do what they want to do. And there's nobody that's going to stop them. So they, you know, if they, they say they gamble, they're going to gamble a lot that night. They might not do that all the time, but they're going to do it when they do it. So, um, yeah, maybe you're going to teach them to do things in moderation. Maybe you're going to say, look, I understand, but when you do this, when you do things in excess, it stresses me out. So if you could, you know, do things in a, you know, let's moderate it a little bit, um, you know, that would help me. So I think you guys are going to balance each other out here. Ghost, stop. It's not time for you. Just stop. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you love and care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So, let yourself receive. So, if they want to do something nice for you, don't turn it away. Just be, don't like cut your nose to spite your face. You know what I mean? Like, you, they're going to want to, they're going to, they're going to be like, if they do something bad, <laughs> they're going to do something good for you. You know, what you considered bad, not what they consider bad, because they don't consider what they're doing bad. But you know what I mean? So just receive it. Take it. Don't cut your nose to spite your face. Take it. <laughs> just do it. They want to do something nice, let them. penguin authentic reach out to your tribe in times of need all right like i said reach out to your friends when they do stuff that you don't want them to do family gives you strength when you face the storm right and maybe you're have a close family member that you could turn to like a mom and get that ad great advice right love your uniqueness okay even though you get crazy it's okay <laughs> you are full of surprises Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. Well, you know, this goes for both of you, I think, because all those things I was pointing out for you, but really, this is a card of who is your future spouse, right? So your person is who they are. They're authentic. They're not going to lie to you. They're just going to be themselves. So you have to either love them for who they are or move on. Now, obviously, this is your future spouse, so you're marrying this person. So you, 
do yourself a favor and accept them for who they are. They're not a bad person. They're not. They're actually a very, they're going to be very good to you. I feel like they're going to be extremely good to you. So try not to stress yourself out a lot. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come see Nona. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm going to put you on pause for a second because he's just... Sorry, he was making me crazy. Anyway, communication is the key. Yes, that is absolutely true. Okay, so speak your truth with your person. But again, do it in a calm manner. And don't do it and th- don't threaten... You know what I mean? Like, just say, this is how you make me feel when you do these things. You know, just communication is always the key. Got to do it right, though. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit. Yeah. Um, So just when they make you crazy, they're going to turn around and make you have some fun. This person is going to be fun. You guys are good. This is a good relationship. I know I keep making it out to be like you guys you, this person's going to drive you crazy but they're not not all the time just every once in a while like maybe once or twice a year the rest of the time they're going to be fun and they're going to be generous and they're going to be loving so don't stress it don't let me stress you out I feel like I'm doing a bad job here It is important right now to take a step back, spend some time alone, instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Okay, so uh, there are going to be times when you, when both of you are going to have to give to yourself. Like your emperor is going to have to be like, look, I'm going out for me. I need to recharge. I need to just let loose and be myself and honestly there's nothing wrong with that I know it's going to stress you out but there's really like as long as they're not doing anything wrong as long as you trust your person let them do that and you have to do the same thing you have to give yourself some time too so just remember that two of Ariel it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. Um, I think this is just, to, you know, that's two of pentacles, right? I think that's just um, keeping your, your, your relationship in balance. And I, I think your person's going to do that for you. I do. I think that they're going to try at least anyway. And you, you're you just going to have to remind them a little bit in a nice way to if they're working a lot or if they're going out a lot, they got to give you the time and the attention as well. So I think you guys are going to um, find that balance. I, I do. I, I think you will. I feel like you both have a lot of energy, both of you. So you guys might like to do a lot of things, but just remember to slow it down sometimes, to rest and to breathe. All right. You might need to you might need downtime because I feel like you guys go and go and go I don't know why but I just that's what I was feeling so let me pull you some charms all right Ah, you guys will be in alignment with each other I do I feel like you guys will be on the right page doesn't mean that you're going to do what the other person wants you guys to do, but I feel like, you know, you guys will be on the right, on the same page. I do feel like love is here. I feel like Cupid shot his arrows at the two of you and you guys, um, you know, fell for each other. You're together for a reason. Now you have the house. So, um, you guys, you know, if you're getting married, you're obviously going to live together, but I feel like you guys might buy a house together, maybe sooner rather than later uh, we got another initial um, we got a P it doesn't belong in the charm bag but I'm going to say it I'm going to show it to you just because um, it came out I'll put it in the right bag but you got the P so first initial last last initial whatever nickname your person's might be a P 
Um, you got the key to success here. Okay, you got your angels and guides here. Loving you, supporting you. I feel like this relationship is going to move fast. I do. Um, I feel like you guys are going to leap ahead. So I, I, I don't feel like you guys are going to, like if you get engaged, you're not going to be engaged for long. I think you're going to get engaged and plan the wedding. Like I think you guys are going to get together, know that you're the one and you're going to, you know, get engaged quickly. I've, I just feel like the relationship's going to progress pretty fast. All right. Trust your intuition. All right. Trust your intuition. Get out of your head. All right. Don't let your head, don't let your chaotic thoughts take over. Breathe when you have to breathe and trust that intuition. Trust that your person's not doing anything that's going to hurt you when you feel like they aren't in your sights. <laughs> you know? Um, I feel like your person's always going to surprise you in some way. I think they're going to, he's, they're going to give you, um, little surprises. Like they're going to always give you these nice surprises. They're going to like always do nice things for you. I think they will. So, all right, pile two. I know that was, uh, I don't know. It was a different reading, that's for sure. <laughs> I kind of talked to you like I, you were my child, and I wanted to give you that motherly advice here. So bear with it. <laughs> Forgive me if you didn't like it. And, uh, you know, give the video a like anyway, and subscribe to the channel, and, and uh, leave me a comment. Um, because I appreciate them, and they do help me. So, and I guess until next time, love and light. Okay, pile three, if you chose uh, this raw shard, and this one's going to be your reading, here we go. Ten of Pentacles, the sun, the devil, two of wands, empress. Sorry about veto. Okay. Um, well... <laughs> pile three your person is gonna make you really happy uh you know devil energy is coming out so what i'm what am i gonna say i'm gonna say let's hope that's capricorn <laughs> jay your person could be a capricorn um but yeah it doesn't have to be i feel like your person has finally decided that they are going to break free from whatever's been holding them back and they're gonna go after what they want so your person might have a really good job with the Ten of Pentacles here. They might be somebody who, who makes a good living, who's somebody who, who wants happiness in their life and is generally happy, but they might have been holding themselves back from... Uh, oh, hold on. Sorry, somebody was walking their dog by my house. The dogs didn't like it. <laughs> All these distractions. I'm so sorry. All right, so anyway... I feel like your person's been holding themselves back uh, from a relationship, maybe. Um, and I think, or maybe from you, you know, maybe they've been holding themselves back from you for some some reason. I don't know. It is devil energy. So I, I feel like they're going to conquer it, though. I feel like with the two of wands, they're deciding, they're making their choice, they're deciding to move forward and they're going to find you and they're going to be very loving towards you. Okay, so great cards except for that devil energy, you know? So we got, I, I, I'm not really getting a really strong feel for what that is, but I feel like they're going to get over it because they're the empress underneath it all and they're going to be very loving and very supportive. So I feel like this is going to be okay. This is going to be good for you um you know and it's just could they could have just uh you know were, were afraid of commitment issues here they had commitment issues and they were afraid to get into a a long-term relationship um but they're finally choosing they're they're making a plan and they're deciding what path that they want to take and they're figuring out that they they need to go towards their happiness they can't be stuck in devil energy that they're breaking free from it Stepping into a new experience, okay, and opportunity or windfall. 
So your person has money somehow, some way, regardless, I don't think it matters, but they're stepping into this new opportunity. So I, I don't, the new opportunity is you, I feel. Um, so I, you know, I think that's exciting and I think that makes sense. journey all right so I feel like for your person they've taken a journey to get where they are they uh, they've like I said they've conquered the devil energy so uh, that takes a journey you know that that takes its toll that's a process so I feel like it, it they've gone on this journey to get to you but now that they're here I think things are going to really work out nicely Choose your friends wisely. Okay, so they might have been somebody who got in trouble because of their friends. You know, maybe this was somebody who had addiction problems. Um, I do feel like they're, it's over. I feel like it's over, but they need to choose who they surround themselves with. They need to choose people who uplift them and who, who helps them succeed in life and not bring them down. So, um, okay. That's, that's, I'm okay. <laughs> so far, so good. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you think of whom that might be and initiate contact. So I, your person has help. Your person has somebody who, who has helped them out. Maybe they have helped them out financially. Um, you know, maybe that's that windfall. Maybe they got an inheritance or something. Um, but your person has people who care about them and who uh, are willing to, to help them out when they need it. So a good that's good. Always have good to be have su supportive people around them. Abundance. Your person got the bison card. Sacred Buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. So your person, I feel, has really gone through stuff. You know, they have really gone through something. They have gone through a journey. Um, but now they're on the other side of it. They're seeing the sun now. The light is shining for them. And the they've got abundance here so the next step is 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 you and maybe even babies here right so um yeah i feel like your your person is strong for for being able to conquer this whatever it was and uh now you know they did the work and now life is paying that off for them and for you it looks like Conclusions are within reach. All right, so um, within reach, that always, for me, makes me feel like there's something that they have to do because it's within the reach. So that means that they might have to take action. They might actually have to reach for it. So I don't know. I feel like um, this person, you're like you're uh, something... <laughs> something's within their grasp here um conclusions are within reach so like either they're gonna uh wrap up what they're doing or they're gonna uh, finally like say yes to you or reach out to you or to you know agree to be in your life whatever i feel like this something is definitely within their grasp and uh they just have to they just have to make the move it feels like But this person's your soulmate. There you go. That's beautiful, right? That's that's really nice. So you know that you've worked with this person before and you might work with them again in another life. 
Um, I just dropped cards. Hang on. All right, so we've got manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So I feel like your person, if you don't know who they are, they're coming forward. If you do know who they are, then um, you're coming together somehow, some way, or you're taking the next step or, or whatever. But this is this, the energy of this relationship is moving forward and, and your guys are going in the right direction. So um, I like it. Ace of Ariel, which is um, Ace of Pentacles. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. Your person's abundant. Super abundant. And they, like, everything always works out for them. Like, financial-wise. Like, they're, you're always going to have money because money flows to them. They know how to manifest money. The money just flows. So, I guess that's good. Right? I think that's that's really good. And it's a, probably a way for you to recognize them at least. Let's get you some charms. Okay. You're, you, you, here's friends again. Choose your friends wisely. Um, yeah. I, I would be careful. I, would, I don't know. There's, I, I, I think that there's a friend that is not really healthy for your relationship. I don't know why. So just be careful. That's all. This is going to be a wish come true. And you will be happy. Your person is generally happy. So you will be happy. The key to success is here. So this relationship's going to work out. Okay. Somebody might have gone through a major transformation. Right. There's the death card here right? The transformation card uh, charm and the death card charm. So I do, I feel like your person has changed. There might've been a major change in their life, right? And I feel like they're smart, very smart. So they made the right choices. You know, they might not have always made the right choices, but they're making the right choices now, right? There's music notes here. So uh, I think I'm hearing like something's going to make you sing. Like it's, there's happiness here. There's happiness. You're going to grow this into something very beautiful. This relationship is going to be absolutely beautiful. And it's, you know, you got the bicycle charm. That's a movement charm. Um, I feel like it's, it's moving pretty at a good, a, a good pace. You know, you're, you're, um, uh, not the tricycle or the wagon, you know, not going really slow. It's, it's, it's moving pretty fast. So I feel like this is coming in for you or, or you guys are going to start, um, you know, getting deeper into your relationship soon. And the last charm was April. So April's right around the corner. So, um, there you go. It's not that far away. Something's happening in April. All right, pile three, that's what I got. I'm, I'm sorry it was like choppy. Um, that's what I'm feeling, but um, I apologize. But it, it, it turned out to be really good. You got a great person here. So anyway, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and uh, I appreciate you. Till next time, love and light. Okay, pile four, if you chose the chevron am amethyst, then this one's your reading. Let's get your cards. We have Page of Cups, The Lovers, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, The Star. Well, <laughs> I'm liking your person. They're, they're your lover. They're your soulmate. That's beautiful. Uh, they're your wish come true. They're abundant, financially abundant. Um, page of Cups. That's somebody who um, desires you. So, yeah. Um, 
But here we go. Here's the but, right? Seven of Cups. That's usually options, right? Or opportunities. Your person might have a choice between two. two. Lovers sometimes is a choice. So your person's going to have to choose you, it looks like. And if it's not that, if, if they're not going to have to choose you over somebody else, they have a lot of things going on for them when you meet them or, um, you know, if they're in your life right now at this opportunity, at this, at this time, they have a lot going on. They have a lot of um, opportunities open and available for them. So uh, it feels like your person's like trying to accomplish greatness here. So like they might uh, be trying to build their business or build their career in some way. I feel like there's a lot of opportunities coming in for your person. So, okay, let's get some more cards. Let me get the tea leaves. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Person's wise. Tortoise, slow but surely getting ahead. Yeah. All right. So you know what that tells me? It tells me that your person has been working hard at something and it's been a slow journey for them, but they're getting ahead. They're going to have 10 of pentacles. They're going to be um, really good at what they do. So uh, they're putting in effort. They're smart. They're using logic. They know how to get ahead. and uh, But it's taken them some time. So they're really building a very firm foundation because things aren't um, happening quickly. So they're building their future stone by stone. You know, and that's that's really solid and really stable. So I feel like your person is a really good bet, you know, because uh, they're doing things right. They're doing things the right way. So I feel like your person's very reliable, very sturdy, very steady. Let's get some more cards. A man holding a heart. <laughs> so your person is the king of cups energy. Very loving, very generous, very family oriented, very, um, you know, patriarchal or matriarchal. Um, they're a leader, but they they have a huge heart, huge heart. And they're your soulmate. So they're going to love you um, with all their heart and soul. This is not somebody who loves, um, they love deeply. So you could trust that. Be true to yourself. This is your person. The person, your person knows who they are. They know who they are. They know what they want. They know how to get ahead. Um, they just have to do it. So, um, they're not they're not a person who's going to settle they're going to be a person who expects honesty um they're, they're you're going to have to be authentic with them they're not somebody who's going to put up with anybody's bs they're that you have to be true to you right you have to be authentic because they're going to be authentic to them so uh, i would uh make sure you you uh come honest to your person you know because your person's not going to settle for less they're not they're not going to settle for somebody who um, doesn't match match their energy so be be the best that you can be because I think your person is being the best that they are especially with ten of pentacles because that's love that's money that's happiness that's everything and if that's I mean, that's the center of the read, right? So this, that's just the energy of the overall read. So your person either wants this or has this. So you need to match that. 
you need to come up with that. <laughs> I, I feel like you're a person's an expert in their field, consultant expert. I feel like they're an expert. I feel like there's somebody that you could go to to have answers, um, to get answers because they're they're an expert in what they do. It doesn't matter what field they're in, um, but they're an expert at it. I feel like they're very smart. Puffin, partnership, there you go. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel free about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So this is your person, right? Your person is the puffin energy. Your person expects an equal partner. They expect you to match their energy. They're not going to settle for less. Um, they're confident in who they are and they want you to be confident in who you are. They do what's great for the community or their family, king, king of uh, hearts, you know, that patriarchal um, energy where they take care of their family, very family oriented, right? Um, and they're not afraid to ask for help. So if they, they ask you for help, they expect you to give it. <laughs> If you can, you know, if you can't, they know that. But you know what I mean? Like they're not somebody who's going to take less than. This is somebody that you will will go, take you far. Like you guys working together, you guys will go far together. They're they're a team player. Um, I, I feel like they're very strong, but I feel like they, they, they don't want to do it alone. And uh, so they're willing. They're willing to play play nice. They're willing to be an equal partner, but you got to give as much as they give because be true to yourself. That's who your person is. So I feel like they're not going to settle for less. You have to meet their energy. Emotions are running high. All right. Well, you know, your person's the, the king of cups. So there's a lot of love here. So those emotions are probably run deep, especially with the lovers here, right? Your person's going to feel for you. You guys might fall for each other very quickly. Something like that. It's safe for you to love. All right. So your person is a good choice. Your person's going to be a good choice for you. They're safe for you to love them. And vice versa. It's going to be safe for them to love you. love advice here we got friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so maybe you guys start off at fr as friends um so yeah so uh you know be friends be a good friend be supportive be be somebody that they could count on somebody that they can trust somebody they can confide in and then you know that relationship will um blossom and grow and if you are already in this relationship again be the team player be the partner that they need you know be that be that friend for them develop that part of the relationship and the love is just going to explode because I feel like for some reason this is what I'm feeling I feel like your person really needs to feel safe I don't know why I'm feeling like that but I I, I, I don't know why I feel like this from for, from that card I'm feeling like your person needs that safety that security they need to know that they're going to have somebody like your person ex extremely capable I feel this is all intuition so just bear with me okay I feel like your person is extremely capable of taking care of themselves but what they want is a true partner a team player somebody that they could count on if they need to take a break, if they need to give their burdens over to somebody else for a day, they want somebody there for them that's that's capable of handling it. Not that, that you have to do everything for them because per, your person is very capable. But if they say, you know what, I want somebody to pay this bill for me this month. I just want a break. <laughs> I know that's like, I don't know. But they, they want to know that you're going to be able to do that for them. Not that they can't pay it themselves, but they they want to know that you're going to be able to do that for them 
if they need you to. If they can't for some reason pay that bill, they want to know that you're going to be able to pay that for them. And not only that you're able to, but you're willing. They will probably never allow you to do that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling this is crazy. But this I'm, I'm telling you what I'm channeling right now. This is what I'm getting. Like they're, They'll never allow you to do that. But they want you to be able to. <laughs> Or at least be willing to. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, I feel like your person is just looking for a break. But not really. They don't really want the break. They would just want to know that somebody's able to give it to them. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right. Uh, that's what I'm feeling. That's what came out. So uh, I hope I articulated that well. <laughs> for good enough, right? Four of Gabriel. <clears throat> it's a time for celebration. Yeah, this is my marriage card, right? It's Four of Wands. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. You're, you are definitely marrying this person. I mean, it is your future spouse, but that's just confirmation that, yes, this is definitely working out. All right, let's pull you some charms. Okay, here we go. Uh, abundance, the fish, uh, lots of money with fish, smiles, lots of happiness. This person is definitely your north, your north star. You can count on them. Hopefully they can count on you. Um, you guys will be in alignment. So yes, you're, they'll be able to count on you too. Cause you guys will be in alignment with each other. I love that. Um, this is something about seeing the bigger picture. I guess the dog walker is walking back now. Sorry. Um, I'm going to push through though. So please bear with the barking. He'll get over it. Something about seeing the bigger picture. So um, you got to take that for how that resonates. Okay. Maybe there's, I don't know. Just see the big, see the bigger picture. Okay. Um, uh, I'll put you on pause. Now they're both gone. All right. So you have two. Trans uh, transformation charms here um, the moth and the butterfly so uh, your person has probably gone through a major life change and again I don't that's not going to affect you in any way this is just some somehow for you to recognize your person but yeah this person you got the double arrows so this is like definitely definitely this is the this is the way to go this is your person um, they might have some divine masculine energy. Um, maybe that, that takes precedence over the divine feminine. So just, they're, you know, they come up as the king of cups. So that makes sense, right? And uh, and it could be a female. doesn't have to be a male. I, I resonate more with do, dom, uh, divine masculine than I do divine feminine. So there you go. Um Your last charm is the horse. And I, I'm like staring at the horse. And I'm like, what does the horse mean in this reading? Um, for some reason, I'm just getting like a workhorse. Like your person's a workhorse. They, um, it, uh, I think that's why I was getting like they need a break or they need a partner that they could just rely on because if they need to take a break or they burn themselves out, you'll be there because they they are the workhorse. They'll keep going. They, they just do what they got to do and they'll keep going. But they, they want to know that, that they're able to take a day off if they need to. And they won't do that unless they have that equal partner there, somebody who's just as capable as they are. All right, that's what I got for you, Pile 4. I hope it made sense. I really do. I hope I articulated everything I was feeling correctly. Because sometimes I don't. <laughs> but anyway, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you. Till next time, love and light.